Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the brand new DLC for the new Bounty Hunter license. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. It is finally here. Is it really going to be worth it? Well, I guess only time will stay, but, uh, or tell, depending on which way you want to look at it. And let's just go over what is actually provided by Rockstar, shall we? So we got Elite Bounty Hunters apply within. The prestigious Bounty Hunter license is now available. 10 new role, prestigious ranks. Um, we got a new role items, tar bounty targets, and more. The West is a lawless place, a wide expanse filled with manners of predator and their prey, overwhelmed by the emergence of the new order of bandits and probates or reprobates. And Law is seeking bounty hunters of the highest caliber to help bring in the notorious targets. Whether you're a distinguished agent already, known by the law enforcement, or a brave novice with a, um, you know, just to look for adventure. So, you know, the Body Hunter role in Red Dead Online offers a life of action of both sides of the law. So, let's just kind of keep going through this. Um, we got a new legendary bounty. We got Gene Blue uh, um, Finley. We got a prestigious Bounty Hunter. Should keep an eye on the local bounty boards over the next few weeks for information on new legendary bounties, starting with a dandy-turned-bastard, Gene Finley, the gang wanted for the string of robberies. So that could be kind of cool. See, I wish we actually had robberies themselves in Red Dead Online, so we could do some of the stealing. But I guess that's time for another video. So, uh, you, let's see, you can... Uh, Soft for orchestrating bank robberies across the South, and undesirable upstart is often seen sporting an extravagant tailored suit. Okay. So he likes to be fancy with his money. Desperate to acquire infamy for all the wrong reasons, Finley must be brought to justice to, at the earliest possible convenience. Yada, yada, yada. So that would be kind of cool to try. We're also getting the brand new Outlaw Pass number four. A new Outlaw Pass also makes its way to Red Dead Online today with new uh, outfits, emotes, camp upgrades, and more. Chosen photographs from the Naturalist Challenge are also now available as free camp flags. Moonshine bar photos and photo uh, studio backgrounds via the Wheeler Ross and the Company catalog. Members who uh, upgrade their Outlaw Pass for 40, 40 gold bars will receive an assortment of new rewards, including uh, a luxurious... Warm clothing suitable for cold weather, new satchel and skill pamphlets, advanced photography elements or enhancements, and bonus cash and 30 gold bars. You got special gifts and much more. So it looks like we're not quite getting our 40 gold bars back. So I'm kind of, this is going to be the first one ever. Well, I guess they did it with the Halloween pass, but it was only 15 gold bars. Um, where you're actually not able to earn all of your gold bars back, which we... I kind of had a feeling was going to be coming, but if you look at the next line anyway, this week all Red Dead Online players who own the Outlaw Pass uh, Season 4 or Number 4 will receive a reward of $400 as well as 10 gold bars uh, for a rebate within 72 hours of purchasing the pass. So you can actually get all 40 of your gold bars back if you purchase it with this with during this first week. So if you guys don't have enough gold, well... You guys are going to have to grind like crazy in order to get your 40 gold bars because, unfortunately, there's no easy way of doing it anymore, um, especially with the daily challenges being all reworked. So we got improvements, the bonuses, new horses, and more. We got, a various, <clears throat> we got various additions and improvements have also been implemented today, including the ability to combine um, stubble uh, with beard styles and use the new advanced camera while on horseback. That's interesting. I don't remember reading that the first time I read through this. Bounty Hunters can also use a new gun spin, spinning management. I do remember that as a player menu to select and swap learn gun spinning tricks. I, honestly, people use this for like the first like two weeks that it came out. And then I don't think I've ever seen anybody really using it since. So whatever. Uh, Mr. Full uh, Vigilantes and cold blooded Killers alike can still make hay while the sun's shining. All as all moon, uh, bounty hunter mission, not moon shiner, All bounty hunter missions in Reddit Online are dishing out double the XP. In addition, posse up with some of the trustworthy types, and you'll earn increased Reddit Online money and XP payouts in free roam and bounty missions. 
as well as free roam events through December the 7th. So for a week, you can get doubled XP if you guys do some of the um, free roam missions, including the Bounty Hunter missions, to get doubled XP, it looks like. So in addition to the 5 gold bar discount on the Bounty Hunter license and 40% off of all novice um, promising estab um, established distinguished Bounty Hunter items, new players, I love how they only go over new players, can take advantage of double the usual XP for all Land of Opportunity missions. Why is it only new players? And what classifies as a quote-unquote new player? Like how long does a new player quote unquote last? Like, I did, uh, come on, Rockstar, stop dedicating everything to just new people and start supporting the people that have played your freaking game for two years now. Um, and take advantage of the double XP as lent, whatever we already went over that. Uh, get revenge on the treacherous Teddy Brown at Fort Mercer and kill them in each and every one of them. Um, and accompany Miss Leclerc to Blackwater for a rendezvous with Amos Lansing and destroyed in destroyed by grief and you can earn bonus of a hundred dollars for e completing each mission now again i don't know what new i might try it again just to see if i get a hundred dollar bonus money but i'm kind of anticipating that i'm not going to because i would be the furthest away from being a new player considering that i've been playing reddit online since day one um all Red Dead Online players will receive rewards for 2,000 Club XP and 2,000 Bounty Hunter XP this week. Uh, rank 5 or above will receive a treasure map, while players rank 10 and above will get a free ability card upgrade of their choice. So if you've already upgraded all your ability cards, well, pretty much this is a big F you, everybody, for purchasing everything already. That's something I don't... I mean, or give us a... like. Oh, if you're ranked 10 and you've already upgraded all your ability cards, then, hey, we're going to give you some money, but no. I mean, maybe the, at some point they'll add some more ability cards, and then we can actually take advantage of it, I guess. Uh, you can visit the local stable to pursue the new Mustangs and Missouri Fox Trotters. So if you guys are looking for a brand new horse, you get a couple different, I mean, it's not new breeds, but there are new patterns, I guess, for the, those type. I might check out the Missouri Fox Trotters because I love my Missouri Fox Trotter, but getting a different, uh, I guess I'm going to call it paint, <laughs> might be okay. Elsewhere, all profits are 40% off, as well as all melee weapons and thrown weapons. Wilderness Outfitter is offering 40% off of all tents, camp themes, camp dogs, and the fast travel post. And additional um, discounts include, we got 30% off all stable slots, 30% off all repeaters, 30% off of all... Pistols, um, the Schofield Revolver, all horses, saddles, and approved saddles, and then all coats. It doesn't include the legendary animal clothing, though. And then we got all 30% off of all vests. And then the only thing that's 40% off is outfits, including the roll outfits. So if you guys want something that's already pre-designed, then you can go ahead and do that. Now, for the weakest of the Prime Gaming everything, you get a free bounty hunter license so if you already got it well this is another middle finger sticking right back up you from rockstar and then the next one is you can get uh, the award for the trimmed amethyst bounty hunting bounty wagon livery Ooh, like this has got to be like the worst prime gaming bonus ever like ever but that is everything in addition to players who connect their prime account uh before the december the 21st will receive receive a free breton horse and a hundred dollars in red dead online money they are very stingy with their money and very stingy with their gold apparently so i'm guessing that very 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 soon that these right here are going to be um you know you're gonna have to you can buy them with real money so if you want to earn money the best way to do that right now is still to collect a roll and if you want to earn gold well we're going to be getting to another video at that at some point. So we're going to go over that kind of stuff here in the very near future. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. That is everything that's included. Uh, My Red Dead is updating right now. It's probably already done by the time that this video is being done recorded. So I hope everybody has a great time playing this today. And over the next couple of weeks, um, more than likely only the next few days, because it's probably all people are going to take in order to get those new 10 ranks. 
It's not going to take very long at all, I don't think. But anyway, if you guys didn't enjoy the video, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.